All right, guys, so we got a new battery, and this is a new company, Woodmar. And I looked at their price on Amazon, and it's really, it's a really good price. I think it was like 280 something for the 100 amp hour 12 volt. Let's open it up. Uh, it seems to be kind of a smaller package. Is this a smaller battery, or is this a regular size? Oh, I think it's a regular size. It just doesn't have a whole lot of padding in there. Okay, and there it is. Woodenmar, Woodenmar, Woodenmar. Looks like a lot of the other batteries in this form factor. So uh, let's charge it up and do a capacity test. Okay, I just totally noticed this as I was hooking it up to charge. It says it's 110 amp hours. So that'd be awesome. We're definitely gonna test that. All right, the battery has fully charged, so we're gonna start the charge once more to see uh, what voltage it charges up to. Right now it's sitting at 13.522. So it looked like it got a little bit above 14.3, maybe like 14.3 and a half, which is fine. So now we're gonna set it up to do a capacity test. All right, so I got the shunt hooked up into this alpha inverter, and I'm not sure what to set it to. The battery is sold as a 100 amp hour, but it clearly it says 110 amp hours on this. So I guess I'm going to set it as a 100 amp hour on my shunt. And if we get to 110, I guess that'll be fantastic. All right, so we're going to turn on the inverter and start the test. I got a heater as the load. And we are pulling 54 amps, 724 watts. So I'll be back when that completes. All right, guys, so we're down to 1% left on this thing. We're about to hit 100 amp hours. And there it is, uh, 1,280 watt hours, 100 amp hours. So it's uh, pulled the full capacity marked on the box and what it's sold as uh, on Amazon. Uh, but we have not reached this one. I'm kind of feeling like this may possibly be a misprint. Because I'm kind of doubting that we're going to get there. But uh, we'll let it continue going. And we'll see. I definitely do see the voltage dropping uh, rapidly well faster so that's kind of leading me to believe that we're probably going to be wrapping it up here pretty soon okay so the inverter is starting to complain we'll go ahead and stop the test and we have reached 103.15 amp hours 1316 watt hours so this uh, is behaving like your typical 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I'm going to bring this up with the manufacturer to make sure that they do fix this label. All right, so next up, we're gonna tear this thing apart. All right, guys, so I have opened this guy up and here we are. Okay, so it looks like we've got eight cells, two in parallel. So it looks like, I guess, eight 50 amp hour cells. And we've got some nice double eight gauge on the positive and double eight gauge on the negative. These cells have uh, intact QR codes. 
and I don't think I see a thermal probe. Uh, I don't think this is going to have any kind of low temperature protection. Looks like there's a a high temperature thermal switch on the BMS. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get these. Well, we might be able to. Let me see if I can pull these out. Unfortunately, I think they're pretty well stuck. I I, they're, I'm not feeling them budge at all. I have a feeling that, see there's like some black glue on the sides. And I feel like there's probably some of that glue on the bottom. Considering uh, a lot of these batteries will have foam on top that keeps them from shifting upwards. It'll uh, hit the case, the foam will. This one doesn't have that, so I bet that they they firmly glued it to the bottom because I, I don't feel any kind of budging. Uh, it's got foam on the sides and then it's filled in with that poly, was it polyurethane foam. The construction looks fine. You know, aluminum bus bars, which is uh, very typical these days, and uh, they're fine. The aluminum bus bars is fine as long as... Uh, it's thick enough and it and it doesn't seem to be thin or anything like that uh, they are welded to the batteries and uh, BMS yeah it's very stuck and yeah, it's very well stuck uh, it seems to be kind of just a basic 100 amp BMS probably yeah I think the construction is fine uh, it's not quite as polished off as uh, some of the other batteries. I don't see I don't see anything. That's a problem. Everything's nice and tight. All right guys, I think that's going to be the end of the video. The only thing that I think is a little strange is this this label. But again, like I said, it's not sold as a 110. It's sold as a 100 amp hour. It pulls the capacity, it exceeds the capacity of a, of, of a 100 amp hour. So the only thing I could say would be, this is strange. I'm going to bring that up with the, the company. I don't know if that's a misprint or what the deal is with that. Um, but beyond that, I think that is going to be it for the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.